Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to use that chat feature within Moodle. Um, so once you're in Moodle up along here, you will have your notifications and then you'll have the little chat icon or messaging uh, drawer as it is called. Uh, once you're in here, you'll see, you'll look around and there may not be any particular people that you see in contact uh, or that are available. Uh, you can create a contacts list and so if you're looking and you don't have any contacts you can actually do a request for a contact. You come up to search and you're gonna put in somebody's name um, and then select enter and it'll show up as a non-contact. Now that means they that neither of you have decided the other person is a contact uh, but in, by and large you're only going to be able to search for people that you share a course with. So in this case um, the identity that I have shares a course with Lance Eaton so if I select that now I can actually send this person a message you know hi how are you and then also if I wanted to make this person a more permanent contact, somebody that does always show up uh, when I first click on there, then I would uh, select the, the ellipses here and I would add to contacts. I'll say, you sure you want to add to contacts? I'll say yes. And now I, it has been requested. The other person has to actually allow for it to happen before it can happen, but you can at least request it. And this again allows for different permissions of different people uh, in, in their comfort level. Assuming that does happen, what I will end up seeing here, or what I already see here, is here is a you know private contact or private conversation with with Lance. Uh, I'm going to pause and go actually uh, approve that so you can see what it looks like to have contact. So I'm in the other profile now and just to show you what it looks like to get a request for a contact, um, notice the, uh, the the messaging icon has two notifications. So one is the actual message that um, that person sent me, the other is under contact. So if I select that, uh, notice I have a contact request, uh, would like to contact you. So if I approve it, I want to select it and then I can decide to either decline or accept and add to contacts. Once I do, if I come back to my contacts page, now that person has also been added. And um, now it allows me to more easily see when they are online and when I'm online. So hopefully this is, this is useful. Um, you may not be using this a lot, but sometimes you may find that if you're already in the Moodle environment and you're looking at a course or you notice somebody else is on, you might be able to strike up a conversation and kind of do that in live time rather than uh, say through email or the like. So hope this is helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Actually, there's one other feature with that I wanted to identify, and that is the settings. So once you are in that little message area, if you click on the settings wheel, uh, you can restrict who can message you. So it can be my contacts or my contacts and anyone in my courses, uh, and then how you get those notifications. So if you're not in Moodle, uh, this is set up right now to say, if I'm not in Moodle, then an email will be sent to me. Um, I can also decide I, if I have the Moodle app, then I'll get a notification in the Moodle app. Um, so that really makes it easier in case you're not in the space if somebody's just leaving you a message. All right, hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.